Hello, my small wonders. Are you ready for a story? This one is called Alien Tea on Planet Zumzi by Tony Mitten and Guy Parker Rees. Shall we begin? You are invited to the greatest party in the universe. Make your way to Planet Zumzi and try some terrifically tasty treats from outer space. Don't be late. Alien Tea on Planet Zumzi. If you take your rocket to the outer edge of space, you'll come across a funny little alien place. The alien peoples call it Planet Zumzi, and they're meeting here today for a special picnic tea. It seems really quiet, and there's no one around. But hey, just a minute. Now, what's that sound? Bzz, bzz, bzz. It's a traveling machine, and the creatures getting out, wow, they're all bright green. They've brought a bag of biscuits, all bendy and round. When you take a bite, they make a musical sound. It's an alien party. On Planet Zumzi, so bring along some goodies for the alien tea. Mmm, those cookies look good, don't they? Zaka 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 zaka. Now what's this here? A crazy kind of capsule is beginning to appear. A door slides open with a click. And a whirr, and out come creatures all covered with fur. They're jolly and they're yellow, and they're carrying a cake. It wiggles and it giggles when they give it a shake. It's an alien party on Planet Zumzi, so bring along some goodies for the alien tea. Ooh, look at that cake wobble! Zing, zing, a zing! What a tingly little tune! A space shuttle's landing. It'll be here soon. Down comes a ladder, and out pops a head. This bunch of aliens are bald, round, and red. They're juggling with trays full of pizza from space. It rises when you want it, then it hovers near your face. It's an alien party on Planet Zumzi, so let's get started with the alien tea. Ooh, do you like pizza? I love pizza, but this one looks a little different from the ones I'm used to. Zang, clang, bang! What a rackety row! A monster in a moonship is landing right now. He huffs and he hurries. He can see that he's late. Here he comes, puffing with a big round plate. Ooh, I wonder what's inside. It's loaded with dollops, all gloopy and blue. They quiver and they shiver like rubbery goo. They're humming and they're glowing like magical jelly, and hissing with steam, which is purple and smelly. Ooh, that doesn't sound too nice. They look a little worried, don't they? The aliens holler, and some hold their nose. Some shake their bottoms, and some wave their toes. Then they all shout together. We're not eating those. Oh dear, he looks quite upset, doesn't he? Poor old monster, he's sliding away. 
But as he wobbles off, what's happening? Hey! One little alien, bald, round, and red, scuttles to the plate, then swivels his head. He sticks out a feeler to give the gloop a prod. He picks it and licks it. He's starting to nod. He scoops it and slurps it, then gives a long sigh. This stuff is yummy! Just give it a try! Quickly, the others come whiffling around. They start to dip in with a dollopy sound. It looks a bit yucky as it sits on the plate. It's gloppy, it's gloopy, but it tastes just great. The little red alien bleeps a loud shout. Hey there, monster! Don't be left out. Come back and party. Stay here with us. We're sorry we hurt you by making a fuss. Monster cheers up and he wobbles their way. They jump up and down, and they all cheer, yay! Oh, look, they look so happy. It's an alien party on planet Zumzi, and we're all tucking into our alien tea. The food is so yummy, they fill up their tummies. But look who's coming. Wow, look at that big cake. It's the alien mommies. There they are, getting ready to pick up their kids. They warble goodbyes with a burble and bleep. It's getting near bedtime. They'll soon need their sleep. They zip off, they zap off, they spin into space, till all we can see is a quiet, still place. And no one would guess, if they came to Zumzi, that this was the home of the alien tea. So in the end, if it wasn't for the little red alien who was brave enough to try those gloopy blue dollops, maybe there wouldn't have been an alien tea at all. Sometimes we get so scared that we may miss out on something fabulous. I know it's not easy, but sometimes we have to try and be as brave as we can and not let fear stop us from trying something new. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually like it in the end. But you would never know unless you give it a try, right? If you liked this book, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you for our next story, my small wonders. Bye-bye!